The LHC will hopefully find a Higgs particle. It hopefully will answer the question about the weakness of gravity and why there are different mass scales in the universe. Um, what the answer will be, we don't know. We've conjectured what it might be. One of the possibilities that I and others have worked on is the idea that there could be extra dimensions of space other than the ones we see, the forward, backward, left, right, up, down. There could be other dimensions. And they could be connected to explaining some of these features that we can't otherwise understand. Um, we don't know that that's right. Um, other people conjecture, or, and in fact, I've worked on it too, the idea that it might be something called supersymmetry, uh, which sort of doubles the number of particles in the universe, but again, has some chance of explaining why there could be this huge hierarchy of mass scales. So there are various possibilities that we conjecture. I don't think anyone feels 100% confident. Well, probably there's some people that do, but we really don't know what's there. That's why we do experiments. Um, all these theories have good, good aspects and bad aspects. And so until we actually see how the universe works, sometimes the universe is far more clever than anything we think of. So these are all possibilities. Um, there's some finite probability for all of them. And we certainly want to make sure that the machine will test these ideas, that it is capable. So we made the right, we tell them what the predictions are that they should be looking for. One thing to keep in mind is the experiments of the Large Hadron Collider are, are kind of, are very difficult because they're very messy. There's many um, billion events per second. And you've got to narrow that down and be able to look at the, the small things that, the small predict, predictions uh, that have small probability of what can happen and be able to pull those out. So you have to have a very clear idea of what it is that you're looking for. And that's what, why we want to make models and tell them what they should be looking for. What are the unique features that will identify something that's new and can tell us what's really going on at these energy scales? Well, to really understand supersymmetry requires you know something about quantum mechanics. Supersymmetry connects together different types of particles known as bosons and fermions. Bosons are particles that like to be in the same place. Fermions are particles that don't like to be in the same place. And the conjecture of supersymmetry is that for every particle we know about, there's a partner that's the opposite in the sense that if the Higgs boson is a boson, there would be a, a Higgsino, a partner that's a fermion. If there are gauge bosons, there are gauginos. If there are fermions, there are partnered bosons. So it sort of doubles the number of particles, which if you think about it from the point of view of what you'd see in an experiment, is quite dramatic. If, if supersymmetry is right and explains what we call weak scale phenomena, this questions about masses and about the hierarchy problem, then we'd be able to see a whole slew of new particles when the LHC is running at full capacity. Mm -hmm.